Hi, Bernie Maloney from Powered by Teams with some tips on job search. So if you haven't already, I do recommend you go to this URL and download the PDF of the notes that I'll be sharing with you here in this series of videos. Print them out, take notes as we go along so you can fill in things in addition to what I'm gonna be capturing on screen. So this is an overview video to give you an idea of what we're gonna be covering in the other videos. I do recommend you watch them in the order that I kind of outline, but you may choose to watch them in a different order because you have a pressing need. That's okay. That's why I'm recording them as a short series of videos. So let's go ahead and take a look at an overview. Okay, so um, a couple of things I want you to keep in mind as we go through these videos is it's okay to tell people. When I was laid off 15 years ago from HP from a job that I loved, Okay, at that point in time in the marketplace, there was a little bit of stigma about having been laid off. People had a perception that maybe you weren't good enough to keep around. That's no longer the case. There's no shame to be in job search. Tell people. They're going to be the ones who actually help you find a new job. It took me a good six months to get over this, and I want to save you that pain. So do tell people that you're in search. Another thing I want to let you know is everybody wants to help. That's the good news. The bad news, they don't know how. So part of your job is you're going to need to show them how. And with the tips that you're going to be picking up in these videos, you're going to be able to enlist their aid effectively in finding you the position that you would really love. Now, I also want you to keep in mind an employer's perspective as we go through these tips. And you can think of it like a 12-hour clock. So the need for a new position appears somewhere around 1 o'clock. And somewhere around four o'clock, the initial candidates get identified. And it isn't really until somewhere after six o'clock that the job is posted publicly. Now, this might be a little depressing for some of you, but take heart. The techniques that you're gonna be learning here are gonna get you ahead of that curve. But I do wanna let you know, this is kinda of why it feels like applying online can be a black hole. That um, there's so many people that are applying and they've already got some candidates identified. I'm not going to say don't apply online, just recognize that it's a low probability event. You want to put more of your energy into some of the things that you're going to be looking at or learning here in this series of videos. See, something to keep in mind is there's three paths in to a new job. There's the front door, which is applying online. And like I said, it can be a black hole. There's also a side door coming in as a referral. And I'm going to show you some ways to increase your effectiveness with that. There's also a back door becoming the identified candidate even before the need appears. And I'm going to be showing you techniques that you can use right now doing that. It's going to help to first go in the side door so that you can build some of those techniques. Then I'm going to go to the front door in case you land an interview, and then we're going to go to the back door. That's kind of the sequence of the videos that we're going to be covering here. So let's go ahead. Let's step next into the side door.